Okay, gentlemen, thank you very much for, for coming to the press conference. We'll do the press conference now for round one, the four hours of La Castellet the, of the 2018 European Le Mans series. A series of firsts, um, Orica 123, which is great to see here in Puri Car. Um, and a first, and eight seconds covered the top three. So a great show, guys. Thank you very much indeed for putting on a brilliant show here today at Puri Car. But uh, it was also a first for the racing engineering Orica, first for the Spanish team, the number 24 racing engineering Orica 07 Gibson, Nor uh, Norman Nato, Paul, P Paul Petit and Olivier Pilar. Congratulations, guys. Um, I hope you don't mind we'll do this in English because my French is appalling. So, uh, Norman, you started. Um, fantastic start. You had you were following Nica Lapierre. Talk us through the start and how you, were, how you, how you found the Dragon Speed in front of you. Yeah, I was really, to be honest, I was a bit stressed at the, at the beginning of the race because it was my first start, start in this area. I didn't want to do any mistakes. So, yeah, I was a bit stressed. And then uh, in the first few laps, I, mean, I felt that the car felt good straight away. Uh, I was able to follow Nicolas. But something, uh, yeah, and something was new for me as well was the traffic. To manage the traffic wasn't easy. So I was really careful on my first stint. And then I tried to push a bit more on my second stint. But uh, overall, yeah, uh, the car was fantastic to drive. So the team did a really good job because we didn't have, we didn't have really, really time to, to do some test days. So yeah, they really did a good job, my teammates as well. So I would like to thank everyone in the team. And you set the fastest lap of the race as well. Do you know that? Yeah, I know that. Good. Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, you took over the car. I know you took then you handed it back to Norman, but we'll talk to you anyway. Congratulations. It must be great. I know it's a Spanish team, but you're a French lineup winning here in France. Yes, it's really cool. Uh, I win here in LMP3 and to win here in LMP2 is uh, really cool with the team and my teammates. Uh, it's a big pleasure. Uh, the race is not easy with the safety car, uh, but uh, I try to manage uh, my tires during the, the safety car and after I push to, to give the car on good condition for holiday and to finish the race uh, in a good position. Well, congratulations, Olivia. You took over the car. Had a great stint. You came through the, through the field, back up to the front. It, how, how good was the car? Was it, were you struggling or you just, it, was it? No, the car was, the car was really good. Uh, we made some change before the start of the race, you know, to have a bit, a bit more top speed uh, in, uh, for the traffic. So the car was not easy to drive, but was fast. Uh, that's all we need. Uh, and yeah, I think you know, Orman and Paul uh, have done an amazing job. Norman on his opening stint, first time here, first time on the traffic. Uh, Paul uh, also keeping, uh, uh, Andre Negra will be in. Um, and yeah, I mean, after I could pass uh, the Alpine car and, and, and put a gap, uh, so it's fantastic. Uh, I have to thank them for that. Uh, coming from GP2 was not an easy step, a lot to learn, uh, but uh, first race, first victory, amazing. Uh, they have been on the top of everything from the beginning, and uh, yeah, a big thank you to them. We had to go back through the records because we couldn't remember when the last time you won. We actually found it, Donington 2012 was your last win. So. The, it's a long time coming to an ELMS uh, Do you mean on ELMS? ELMS okay. win, of course, yes. yes. Sorry, an ELMS win. <laughs> yes, yes, that's right. <laughs> anyway, congratulations. Congratulations to the team. Great result. In second place, the number 33 TDS race in Orica, Gibson, Francois Perodo, Loic Deval, and Mathieu, uh, Ma Mathieu, Mathieu, Matt, Faxavier, sorry. <laughs> long, long week. Francois, you started. Good start? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it'd be I knew it'd be hard yeah. because I was the only well amateur bronze uh, in the middle of uh, of the pros, so I, I knew it was going to be tough and, and tough it definitely was. Um, I, I mean, there was a contact right from turn three, so then I struggled obviously with the pace. So to be honest, Jeff, I'm still pinching myself that uh, I was on this podium, but uh, no, I think the boys did an incredible job and. Uh, no, it's been a it's been a tough week, but uh, very happy to be here. Uh, so, how do you manage with the traffic? You're used to having them come up coming up behind you, not uh, you overtaking other things. Yeah, although to be fair, I mean, I've done a few seasons of uh, WEC, and it's uh, it's even harder here because uh, you've got a lot more LMP3s and a lot more cars. I think it was 45 of us on the track, so it's uh, yeah, it's difficult to manage. But a good start to the season, definitely. Right, congratulations, Loic. Welcome back. Um, haven't seen you for a while since uh, WC, but anyway, congratulations. That's a good start for the season for the, for the TDS team. Yeah, it's great. I mean, you know, I mean, uh, we've been working for for a few months now, a few months now together, and uh, super happy with the with the result. You know, I mean, we we, we had a good pace. Uh, everything was not perfect, so we still have to to work on it. 
I'm, uh, I'm really happy for, for Francois because, I mean, uh, this is the purpose of the championship, you know, to have really real amateur to, to race uh, alongside uh, the pros and, uh, and to be here, uh, the three of us, with, with Mathieu and, you know, finishing second with a good pace and we were quite close at the end. Uh, uh, it was a pleasure, you know, it was a lot of fun, uh, but uh, there is a lot of races ahead of us and uh, for sure we, we want to do it even better. Mathieu, you provided some great uh, with Olivier and... Uh, and you know, with uh, Nico as well coming up behind you, you, you know, seem to be managing the managing quite well. But was the car good at the end of the race? Were you able to maintain the pace? Yeah, the car was really great uh, on track. Um, on my last team, I take uh, quite a few a few traffic, a lot of traffic. I mean, more than my first team. But anyway, I push until the end. I think Olivier get also some traffic. From everybody get traffic. So no, we are really happy about uh, about this ra race and this uh, this podium. Uh, Francois take the um, start quite good, but they just um, somebody touched him in the f in the third corner, I think. So he managed good to stay on track and to give but to get came back the give back the, the car in the pit. So it was a really good uh, double stint for him, and then uh, and then no, he can make an incredible job and we finish the race on the podium. So we are really happy. The LMP2 this year is very strong. Uh, there's a lot of competition in there. Do you think it's going to be like this all year? Yeah, definitely. When you saw 19 car on the grid, it uh, for sure will be will be tough. Well, congratulations, TDS Racing guys. Well done. And our three all French crew as well. Number 29 to Kane Engineering Orico Seven Gibson, another Orico as well. Um, a debut LMP2 win for the team as well. Pierre Rag, Nelson Pantitici, and Nico Jamin. Um, Pierre, you started the race, didn't you? So uh, congratulations. Good result. You please be on the podium. Yes, no, definitely. It was a very good result for the team. It's the first uh, first race for the team in LMP2. First race with Michelin tires, so we are very happy. My teammate made a great job, so now we we want to be in Monza. How was the start? Was it a difficult start? No, it was a great start. Uh, I after the contact in front of me of the with Francois and. Uh, I think new way. Um, I, I I will be third. I think so. And uh, after I have a puncture, so we we must uh, reduce a little a little bit my first hint. But uh, now it's okay. Nelson, you took over the car. Our, I mentioned the 2013 champions together again, and 20, 2014 champion as well, wasn't it? So Nelson, um, congratulations. How was your stint? Was it? Uh, you seem to be managing the time, managing the tires. The safety car, you were out when you joined the safety car as well? How, how, was, how did that affect your strategy? Yeah, my stint was, uh, was really good. Uh, the, the car was really, really good. The tires was, uh, was really good. So my, <laughs> my, it was easy to overtake the car. I, um, I got the, the two cars in front of me. So at the end, I think I was not so close from the P1. So for us, it's a good weekend because we didn't test the car before this weekend. So we are really happy for, uh, with all the team. Nico, you took the car over, you were having that great fight with Pierre Thierry, uh, got past to take the podium. Again, a great result for the team and yourself in the first race. Yeah, it's very good. You know, my, my first race uh, back in Europe after four years in America. Uh, it's always very nice to be on the podium, especially for the first race. First race of the team, you know, it's the team debut in LMP2 uh, with no testing, like, like Nelson said. So uh, great result for the team and very happy to be here. And we're heading to Monza next. Your thoughts on that one? Uh, I think we should be good. I mean, you know, the, the car was good straight away and there's no reason why it wouldn't be good at Monza as well. I think it's going to be an extremely close field though at Monza with, you know, all the pro drivers and all the very good teams. Uh, I think Monza will be, will be a very nice, very nice race.